Hi there, and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Brian's Mind. I'm your host, Brian, and I don't mind. <laughs> no, that's not what I think it's supposed to mean. Anyways, today actually is Wednesday, and since this is my political week, I'm going to be talking about the great governor from the great state of Alaska, Governor Sarah Palin. Palin, whatever. She is going to be speaking this evening. I'm already going to tell you, I am a clairvoyant. I know exactly what she's going to say. She's going to say that she has the rights to be a leader because she's had a layover in Ireland. And she's also going to say that she's ready because she took on big oil interests. So she's ready. Yet, there's McCain and her are big oil interests. Don't. And she's also going to talk about how she's ready to lead on day one because she was mayor of 6,000 people. By that logic, the mayor of the town I live in should be 15 times more ready to go. That's what I'm saying. Now, she's also going to probably say that she believes that they can turn around the economy by getting rid of the good old boy network. Well, you change one letter and you still got the GOP instead of good old boy network, you got the good old boy party. Get rid of the B, add the B, good old party. I know, grand old party. Sorry, guys. Anyways, this chick is screwed. What's with the beehives? You know, the hair in the back? That's got to go. You know what? I bet you're a cougar. I'll give you that. You're hot. Okay. Granted. We'd all like to throw a bang your way. You'd be the first time anybody's ever sat in the Oval Office and wanted you. And uh, I can understand McCain picking you just for eye candy. But if women vote for you just because you're a chick, they're retarded. She's against women's rights. She's against abortion. She's obviously for arranged marriages because she just arranged a marriage for her daughter. And some guy that looks scared shitless, like he hadn't wanted nothing to do with marriage, he just wanted a piece of that ass. Got it, didn't use a rubber because Republicans can't wear rubbers. Abstinence first. And also, you know, premarital sex and family values. Yeah, you missed that meeting at home because you were out firing state troopers and everything else. Oh, that's right, you were taking on the big guys. Now, people say we don't know a lot about her. Well, I went to these liberal blogs like Google and Politico.com and the Weekly Standard, you know, the ones that are very, very liberal. Yeah, the Weekly Standard. Anyways, you go to their websites, or if you have a subscription like I do, you just read it. And I read a lot of interesting things on there, how she likes to take anybody that disagrees with her and fires them. So, if she disagrees with John McCain, does that mean she's going to fire him? Huh. That's an interesting point. Now, another thing about this chick is all of her executive experience. She was a mayor for six years and a governor for a year and a half. She has more experience than Barack Obama and Joseph Biden. Well, by that saying, then she has more experience than John McCain. So this is my plea to you, John McCain. Please, drop out of the race. You're inexperienced. Sarah Palin is the only choice. I believe her and Bobby Jindal would be the golden ticket. Why? He just single-handedly took on the Germans, stopped them at the gates, and did not let his state get overrun by the Nazi hurricane. So I think them two would be the absolute driving force that would make this country the greatest. You got one that takes on big oil and one that takes on the German Nazis that wanted to occupy our land. Thank you Bobby Jindal and thank you Sarah Palin. If they don't win this time around, I guarantee you uh, Sarah Palin Bobby Jindal ticket in 2012 will be the money winner. Come on. You got, it's like an American success story. You have a woman and you have an Arab American that's, oh, he's not Arab American. Christopher shaking his head at me. Well, he looks like a dadhead. Anyways, you got these two great forces together. Okay, so he looks tan all the time. Excuse me. God, this kid back here is going nuts. Anyways, you got these two great forces of nature taking on big oil and big hurricanes, sending the Nazis back out to sea and saying, yes, we can, America first. 
Yes, we can. This has been Brian's Mind. Vote Republican.